everyone in Australia agrees that the cane toads have got to go. The problem is getting rid of them. Cane toads are the most notorious of what are called invasive species in Australia and beyond. But unlike many other invasive species, cane toads were intentionally introduced into Australia. The country simply got much more and much worse than it bargained for. Before 1935, Australia did not have any toad species of its own. What the country did have, however, was a major beetle problem. A population of beetles were destroying northeastern Australia's sugarcane crops. After first hearing about the amphibians in 1933 at a conference in the Caribbean, growers successfully lobbied to have the cane toads imported to battle and hopefully destroy the beetles and save the crops. The plan backfired completely and absolutely. As it turns out, cane toads do not jump very high, only about two feet actually, so they did not eat the beetles that for the most part lived in the upper stalks of the cane plants. Instead of going after the beetles as the growers had planned, the cane toads began going after everything else in sight. Insects, birds' eggs, and even native frogs. Furthermore, the toads had no natural predators in the new environment. The toll on native species has been immense. The toads continued to spread and decimate biodiversity across the entire continent of Australia. Cane toads are classified as invasive species. Invasive species are foreign organisms that were transported by humans from one ecosystem to another. These harmful invaders decrease biodiversity and disrupt stable ecosystems as they outcompete native species for resources. Invasive species have an advantage in the new environment because they have no natural predators. Sometimes the organism is transported intentionally, but then it becomes invasive. Often they are transported accidentally. Shipping of plants and fruits can unintentionally transport insects. The plant itself can become invasive as well. There are many species of invasive plants. Boats unintentionally transport mussels, clams, algae, fish eggs, and crustaceans through ballast water. Invasive species can have devastating impacts on ecosystems and economies. Once they become invasive, they are extremely difficult to control.